Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a brand new walkthrough. I am starting Jack Free now. Yes, I'm finally starting this because so, so many of you have requested it. So I thought, you know, it's safe not to start it. And also, I'll just set the options quickly. I don't think I need to change anything. No, no, no. This all looks dandy to me. Should I have vibration on or off? You know, should I have that extra sensation of my hand feeling numb by the end of a game? Nah, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, yeah, a lot of you have requested it. And also, uh, for those of you who didn't see my tweet um, or heard about it in Harry Potter I unfortunately my Ratchet and Clank file has corrupted so I've had to restart the game um, and I've got quite a bit to go and I didn't want to leave a, like, a blank space in my walkthrough schedule so I thought I would you know start this because it was the next one on my list and a lot of you have been wanting it and you know what I really like, I really like this game I really like Jack 3 I haven't played it for ages either so uh, but you know I still like um I should still be quite good at it, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I played it, but I love it. So I was like, I was quite eager to start it again. You know, it's not my favourite in the um, in the series. It's probably think about this. It's hard to decide what between um, Jack One and Two is my favourite, but this is probably my least favourite out of the trilogy. But I still love the trilogy. Sorry, this game. It's it's incredible. Anyway, here we go. Now been rescued. Love life there, Daxter. I love water. Oh yes, it's so good. Is it bad? Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, King of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. <laughs> and we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey! That sounds like a bad deal! You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> always, got, always got to come back. In the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. And um, brutal. What happens to the ones that don't crawl? Is that all by Then it will be as if we never found you. I was afraid of that. I wish the monks would still pray for all citizens of Sparta. I feel appreciated there. Welcome to the arena of death. Whose words could that be, eh? Watch <laughs> other people wet themselves in fear. These halls will once again test two newcomers, each fighting to prove their worth to stay among us. Let's hear it for Jack and his obnoxious fucking animal. <laughs> well, Pecker, there you are. Where were you? Demo says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh... Will you stop that? Demos can talk for himself. He is right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. It looks like he's you, been... some <laughs> people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Ooh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! <laughs> Here we go. I must say, when I got this game on Christmas morning, I was so excited when that cut, when, when this cutscene ended, because I was just like, "Here we go, Jack Free." And you know, for the most part of it, it is really good. This is a couple of uh, things that annoy me. But anyway, here we go. Very simple stuff. This is basically training. Same with the fort position in the last game. Basically, you've got to collect all these blue orbs. I look mysterious like light. Oh, I all right. Calm down, eh? Honestly, I, you know, I did defeat the Metalhead leader, you know, in the last game. You'd think I would know anything. But I suppose I've got the tutorial stuff, you know. Whatever, we can do this as well, you know. Where's he gonna go? There we go. Oh, yeah, so badass. Not gonna run a proper course. Just watch me go, eh? <laughs> Too school for cool though. Go. Yeah, and Dax got a cool new look now, he's got a new haircut, quite short. 
Red's armor now. Quite, it's, it, the game does redesign a lot of things, you know. Otherwise, they'd make it be accused of being lazy, I suppose. Between Jack 2 and Jack 3. But, you know, in all fairness, they had like two years to develop Jack 2 and a year to develop Jack 3. So, they did a lot in a year. I, I think it's a pretty good game. For my fans. Always been a Jack and Daxter fan over Ratchet and Crank. I love Ratchet and Crank still, but Jack and Daxter has been my third series. Which is why I always thought it was a shame and it made look, look, look never continued with it. I mean, Uncharted is great too, don't get me wrong. This is this, it's awesome, but there's, there's lava! Only Jack 3 can do lava, right? Uncharted can put all sorts in the mountains and treasure and all sorts, but you know, Jack 3's got lava and it's, it's, just, it's just a nice kind of lava that you can always return to and enjoy in a weird way. I guess we've got to go into this yellow thing here. <laughs> the candidates have won the challenge. That's right, we did! <laughs> what sort of dance move is that? Anyone can make a few measly jumps. Now let's see how you rate against the living. Uh -oh. We adjust the matter formers. Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. <laughs> I know, I was just adding, you know, how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare <laughs> the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people? With actual weapons? Who actually will hurt us? Fine, bring them on. Alright, that's it. I want to be on his shoulder. <laughs> I don't blame you, Dax. So. Although, I'm not sure what sort of dance move that was. I always try that in a club at some point. The girls would love it. Okay, so here we go. Basically, just got to kill like 20 enemies, you know, getting used to attacking as well. Oh, yeah, when the lava springs up. Yeah, jump up onto the. Uh, no, oh, oh, good lord! Better jump. Oh, that was close. Um, yeah, it's very simple stuff. Pekka almost looked um, disappointed that I died actually. I was like, what is it, Pekka? Whose side are you on? I was like, want me to die? I know it'd be hilarious, but you know, I'd rather rest of life. I'll keep going. No! There's just a I mean, it's quite an un unfair attack, really. They've got giant knives and swords, and I've got a gun. What is on the B to my advantage, isn't it? Two there. Oh yes! So it's about that. I'd rather be killed by Gunter than by that. If I, I'd love to be killed at all. Let's just stay alive. I like that idea. Oh god, here we go! Oh no, it's the lava! Damn it. Two out of control. I thought we were doing that just waiting now. That's like, yeah, I'm gonna charge my energy and just look all cool and gnarly here. Yeah, he's got a whole new design now as well with Dark Jack. Uh, that's not a fair long haired Jack, but you know, Short Jack's quite cool and awesome. Let's make our way up to, um, back to the stage in all this Dark Echo matter. Which also will make a great first impression for Damus as well. I haven't got any of the um, Dark Form or Dark Spin attacks though, but we'll, we'll, we'll get them soon. Don't you worry about that. Oh no, scary vision girl! <gasps> Something you're not telling us, animal man? He has been touched with dark eco, my liege. Our I'm boy mysterious. here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware, there is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking! Hey, what do I get? Nothing, as usual. Oh, she's gone. How'd she do that? She probably just moved away. <laughs> Okay, so I've got two guns, isn't that awesome? Yeah, in the, um, in the last game we had four gun mods, this one we have 12. Quite a few actually, it's quite cool. And then we're there should be three precursor mods up here. Yep, one, and, yeah, nothing. Like um, should now unlock a secret maybe? No, we haven't. I swear I guess secret really not. I don't know. In this game I think there's 300 precursor orbs. And 
you can get um, 600 overall because you can do hero mode and then get them all again if you really want to. I think that's how it works. I don't know if you look at everyone glitching out there. <laughs> and the time of their lives, aren't they? Uh, yeah, so you know, I'm liking this, I'm liking this game so far. It's good for playing it again. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I, was gonna, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Yeah, Damus, sorry, no, Dax's advice there. Absolutely perfect. Like, some of my lectures have given worse advice than that. Dax, Dax should take lectures, but I, th I, I think it'd be a brilliant lecture. Yeah, it would be a bit weird, but quite funny as well at the same time. Um, and Damus, you know, so you know that, that could be useful. You know, there's a human life here at risk, but you know, actually, it, it, he is like, you know, the leader, he has got to think about how the scissors of spiders will benefit from Jack and Hunter. But yeah, I think it's going to be a top walkthrough, guys, may I say so myself. Um, in the next part, I should go and talk to that guy over there who reminds me of Phil Mitchell from EastEnders for some crazy, crazy reason. For those of you who don't know what, what, what EastEnders is, um, for those of you who live outside the UK, um, it's the British soap opera. Um, I don't really watch it. Well, I used to really watch it, like, religiously. But anyway, enough about EastEnders. <laughs> In the next part, I will talk to Phil Mitchell. I mean, Cleaver. It'll be good. See you then. <laughs>